This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 359. Just don't do it. Five reasons not to become an entrepreneur by Mike Smirklow of mikesmirklow.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host, and welcome back to Optimal Startup Daily, or welcome for the very first time if you're new here. This is the podcast where I read to you from some of the best blogs on entrepreneurship. Take those blogs, turn them into audio form, and you can take it with you on the go. And today's post comes to you from Mike Smirklow of mikesmirklow.com, as I mentioned, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Mike after the post. So let's get right to it as we start optimizing your life. Just Don't Do It, Five Reasons Not to Become an Entrepreneur by Mike Smirklow of mikesmirklow.com. The greatest part of my day job as a venture capitalist is the inspiration I draw from watching amazing founders take a crazy concept, work tirelessly, and sacrifice a ton with the sole purpose of turning a dream into a reality. I recognize how hard the entrepreneurial journey is, and I know full well of the ups and downs that the job brings. I fully believe the world needs entrepreneurs more than ever, and I try my best to encourage and support anyone who's just crazy enough to jump into the arena and give it a shot. From my own experience, being an entrepreneur is the greatest job in the world. Innovation is the key to global progress, and entrepreneurs have the potential to change the world, improve communities, create new jobs, and solve some of the greatest challenges the world faces. What job even comes close? Historically, if someone asked me if they should jump onto the entrepreneurial path, I would reply enthusiastically, heck yes, or I would borrow from the now ancient tagline from Nike and quickly reply, just do it. But over the past few years, I have watched what I would call the shark tank effect come and bite a lot of entrepreneurs in the proverbial backside. To me, the shark tank effect, or the BuzzFeed clickbait effect, means carelessly encouraging anyone to become an entrepreneur without warning them just what they're getting themselves into. As if coming up with an idea and getting a thumbs up from some angel investors is all you need and the rest is easy. Like there's a hack that will turn your idea into a billion dollar outcome. I am not here to discourage anyone from chasing their dreams, and I remain a staunch supporter of the power of entrepreneurship. Some days, watching all the craziness in the world, I'm tempted to believe it is our only hope. However, my current perspective is that any encouragement I can provide about entrepreneurship should come with a warning sign or a waiver form before some dangerous adventure. Like one of those signs that surround my favorite ski resort that simply say, hey, have fun, skiing is awesome, but it's also really dangerous and lots of people get injured and some die. So be careful, understand the risk, and consider yourself warned. Here are my five biggest warning signs as it relates to starting your entrepreneurial journey. Said differently, here are five reasons to just don't do it. One, you are not in a good mental place. Entrepreneurship is really, really hard, and the ups and downs are almost impossible to quantify. Most aspiring entrepreneurs underestimate just how mentally taxing the job will be, and there's very little guidance on this aspect of the experience. You can expect really long work weeks, but have you also considered the mental toll? Make sure you take a look at your current mental state and make an honest assessment. Do you feel mentally prepared to take all of this on? Two, your support structure isn't that great. Starting a business is the loneliest job you will ever have. All of the responsibility will be on your shoulders. It sounds fun to be the boss, but frankly, it's highly overrated. Take a look at what you have outside of your business dream and make sure you have someone, anyone, or thing to help you deal with all of the stress that goes with entrepreneurship. In my book, Mr. Monkey and Me, I devote an entire chapter to help, why it is important, the risk of overlooking this, and specific tips to help entrepreneurs build out their support network. Three, your experience isn't tied to the business you want to start. So you want to start a landscaping business, but you don't know a dandelion from a daffodil? That might be a problem. Perhaps there is a way to get relevant experience in your field of dreams, pun intended, before you start out on your own. This is called founder market fit, and it can be achieved by working in your area of interest before starting out on your own. It might mean delaying your dream for a few years, but it may also be the critical knowledge that separates success and failure. Four, The time just isn't right for you right now. Too much myth has been created about the 20-year-old college dropout who goes on to build a huge business. The reason we all talk about Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg so much is because the outcome each achieved is incredibly rare. Forbes asks, does age matter for entrepreneurial success? And the answer is no. 
There is no correlation between age and entrepreneurial success, or education, background, or, well, anything. Make sure that time is really right for you before you take the plunge. Experience, support, network, and professional skills are developed over time. Sometimes it makes sense to wait to make sure you can develop these before starting off on your own. And five, you expect to have more free time and work less. When I was starting out, some of my peers would comment about how nice it must be for me to quote unquote, be my own boss or not have anyone to tell me what to do. Yeah, right. I had more stress, less sleep, and worked longer hours. And the job was on my mind seven days a week. No boss? I had investors and customers, employees, vendors that all demanded more from me than any boss ever could. Just make sure you fully understand what entrepreneurship does and does not mean in terms of lifestyle before you commit to the journey. I am not trying to discourage aspiring entrepreneurs from raising their hands and getting into the arena. Nothing inspires me more, and goodness knows we need it more than ever. However, I am exhausted with hacks, four-hour work weeks, or other content that glorify entrepreneurship as fun and easy. Rewarding, potentially life-changing, and magical? Yes, entrepreneurship has the potential for all of this and more, but it is critical to understand the mental part of the game and take full consideration of the risk and challenges that lay ahead. Not now doesn't have to mean no forever. Like the warning sign above the Black Diamond ski run, make sure you fully understand what you're getting into. And if and when you are ready for it, jump in, give it your all, and make it happen. You just listened to the post titled, Just Don't Do It, Five Reasons Not to Become an Entrepreneur by Mike Smirklow of mikesmirklow.com. And thanks to Mike, he is the author of Mr. Monkey and Me, which he referenced in this post, and that is a real talk guide to cultivating a mindset to support greatness in entrepreneurs. I actually narrated an excerpt from that book back in episode 88, so if you missed it, you can check that episode out. Mike is an experienced entrepreneur, an investor, and a business leader driven by the desire to turn ideas into reality. Having bought and scaled a small business into a publicly traded company worth nearly a billion dollars in value, he's got a deep understanding of the hard work, dedication, and grit that truly powers successful entrepreneurship. Today, as the co-founder and managing director of Next Coast Ventures, Mike's a champion for a new generation of entrepreneurs building disruptive companies in big markets. So a great author for this show, and you can come by his site to check out all of his work. That's mikesmirklow.com, and smirklow is spelled S-M-E-R-K-L-O. And as usual, I do have that linked in this episode's description. But that should do it for today. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will be right back here in this spot reading to you tomorrow. And that's where your optimal life awaits.